members are across the globe. Welcome to IBTTA's Winter Board of Directors meeting. I, like you, are very sorry that we could not be conducting this meeting in person in sunny Coral Gables. Uh, for me, it's one of the highlights of, of my year, opportunity to spend time with each and every one of you. But hopefully that opportunity will come here in the next few months as we put our sights on Atlanta and the Technology Summit. Who doesn't want to see Chris Tomlinson? I know, I know for sure I do. Um, so hopefully the goal is to get to, uh, to, get to Chris's uh, backyard. Now for the next 30 minutes, we're going to highlight the great work of the IBT IBTTA Foundation and a critical initiative of our wartime president, Samuel Johnson. Now I must tell you, we look back at 2020 and don't think there's been some great outcomes, but I must tell you there were some great outcomes in 2020 in this program as it relates to our work together at IBTTA and the many folks who did it is, is by far one of the greatest. This is one of the jewels in the crown, if you will, for 2020. And at this point, I'd like to turn the program over to my dear friend, our wartime president, Mr. S Mr. Samuel Johnson, as he's gonna share some of the accomplishments of the creation of the task force, and also talk about a uh, um, inclusion moment. So with that, my dear friend, uh, Mr. Past President Samuel Johnson. You're on mute. All right, thank you very much, Mr. President. And it's uh, great to uh, see everyone and to participate in another great IBTTA uh, meeting. So everyone is familiar with the concept of a moment of silence. Uh, for example, during IBTA's annual business meeting last September, we had a moment of silence to commemorate the anniversary of the terrorist attacks of 9-11. Uh, in a similar way, in a recent board meeting, uh, we had a moment of silence to honor our dear friend and colleague, Neil Gray, who died suddenly last August. Today, I am truly honored that our president has asked that I introduce the concept of practicing a moment of inclusion. Uh, this is an opportunity for us to reflect on the importance of diversity and inclusion in our workplaces, in our association, in our industry, and in our global society. It's also a chance for us to recognize the times when we as individuals and as a society have not done all we could to live up to our beliefs around equality and the ideal that all boats rise with the tide. A moment of inclusion is a chance for us to bring someone else's perspective into the conversation and actively consider their thoughts and involvement. It commemorates the growing awareness in our association of the inherent dignity and value of people of color in our world. People who look differently and have different life experiences than our own. It is our recognition that there is value in diverse perspectives and thoughts and that this recognition will lead us to considering the best solutions. It also commemorates our association's commitment to match the words we say about inclusion with our deeds. And I wanna thank each and every one of you for whatever you have done, big or small, to make this a better association, a better industry, and a better society for all. So today I am truly honored to designate this HBCU Scholarship Awards Ceremony as our first moment of inclusion. As our president mentioned, uh, last year was a year like no other. Uh, we had lots of opportunities to excel. We battled a pandemic, experienced dev devastating decreases in our traffic and revenue on our toll facilities, and we were called to address the racial injustice that has existed for far, far too long. Last July, I announced IBTA's commitment to combating racial and social injustice. The IBTA family, both in the United States and around the world, voiced its outrage and intolerance over the killings of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, Ahmaud Aubrey, and the countless other human beings whose lives have been lost simply because of the color of their skin. It was time to speak up and take action and I'm proud to say that IBTA did just that. My fellow officers, Mark Compton, Diane Scacchetti, Malika Setti, Renee Moser, and Chris Tomlinson were all fully supportive and committed to our initiative to create and continue a task force on diversity, 
social and racial inclusion. A 30 member task force was formed and moved quickly under the excellent leadership of Joy Dean, CEO of the, of the Richmond, Richmond Metropolitan, Metropolitan Transit Transportation Authority and Farzan Ahmed, the executive director of the Ohio Turnpike and Infrastructure Commission. And they were heavily supported by our own Terry Langford, part of IBTTA staff. So I wanna thank all of you for your passion and dedication to this initiative. The members of the task force took immediate steps to incorporate a diversity spotlight and its content in our IBTTA meetings and publications to showcase talent within the membership and create opportunities for members to share their diversity best practices. A book club was established for members to come together to learn, to share experiences, and to discuss anti-racism and achieving social justice. IBTTA formed a partnership agreement with a Conference of Minority Transportation Officials, or COMTO, that was aimed at maximizing IBTTA's contribution to the industry's diversity and celebrating COMTO's courageous voice in the transportation community that marks its 50th anniversary. A working group on recognition was established to focus on awards and scholarship to highlight the good works and achievements of the people of color. And I'd like to thank and acknowledge the group of six listed on the screen who worked so diligently and delivered so quickly. Over the past several years, IBTTA has understood the importance of supporting higher education to strengthen and drive our industry and to promote our future. And I am very proud that our efforts have broadened to recognize that higher education is the great enabler for underrepresented communities. A group of donors generally, generously contributed funds to encourage and support black students enrolled at historically black colleges and universities who are pursuing academic degrees that can lead to rewarding careers in transportation. These scholarships reflect IBTA's commitment to foster, fostering diversity in the tolling and transportation industry. This feat could not have been accomplished without the efforts of longstanding IBTA Foundation board member, Ms. Rosa Roundtree, CEO of Aegis Projects Incorporated. She helped lead the way to step up and raise $15,000 in just a few weeks. As a successful woman of color, Rosa recognizes the challenges that exist and is committed to keeping that door open and creating opportunities for everyone to achieve success. This is just another contribution Rosa has made for the industry and I applaud her and the efforts of the others who've made this a reality. The IBTA Foundation has played an integral role in making the scholarship program its top priority. I'd also like to thank and recognize Frank McCartney, who has chaired the foundation for the past few years. And I'd like to thank in advance, Jim Wilson, who has now taken the reins and will continue our efforts into the future. Also, I'd like to recognize Chris Tomlinson, uh, our uh, 2019 president, who during his time upped the game and increased the number of scholarships that IBTTA awards annually. I, I dearly recall uh, the foundation board mumbling a little bit in Halifax when I suggested that we continue to raise the bar and try and achieve uh, an award of seven scholarships. Well, as fate would have it, we've actually awarded eight. So thank you for your efforts and for stepping up to the challenge. So today on behalf of the IBTTA Foundation, I am proud to congratulate three remarkable students currently attending historically black colleges and universities. Each deserving student has received a $5,000 scholarship. The IBTTA Foundation is proud to support these future leaders, incorporating this next generation's ideas and passion around the environment, habitat, and social equity will be essential to the future efforts to improve the movement of goods and people around the world. I'd like to introduce 
the, the students who represent the best and brightest and ask them each to say a few words. So first I'll call on, well, let me, let me list the three and then I will call on each of you uh, to share some comments. Uh, so first is Mubarak Abdella from Washington, DC, a student studying computer science at the University of the District of Columbia. Then we also have Tatiana Sutton from Prince George's County, Upper Marlboro, Maryland, studying cybersecurity at Hampton University. And then we also have Gitante Yoma from Washington, DC, studying computer science at the University of the District of Columbia. So Mubarek, if you would please take yourself off mute and share a few words with us. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Mubarak Abdullah. Uh, you know, I'm a third year computer science student at the University of the District of Columbia. And I would like to thank uh, everyone for having me today. Uh, more specifically, I would like to thank uh, the International Bridge uh, Tunnel and Turnpike Association for giving me this H HBCU scholarship. I'm honored to be a winner of this scholarship. Uh, by awarding me this scholarship, you've lightened my financial burden, which allows me uh, to focus on more important aspect of school, which is learning. Uh, without your donation, I wouldn't have been able to access the resources necessary to fulfill my ambition of becoming a software engineer. Uh, your generosity has inspired me to help others um, and give back to the community and also make an impact in the transportation uh, industry. Uh, I hope one day I'll be able to help students just like you helped me at uh, HBCUs or other institutions as well. And uh, thank you for your continued support and uh, investment in my future. Thank you. All right. Thank you very uh, much, Mubarak. And I sincerely apologize for the mispronunciation of your name. Uh, names are important and it shows a, a lack of respect when you don't try and get it right. So please accept my sincere apologies. I'll make sure that doesn't happen again. Mr. Mubarak Abdella, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, next, uh, Tatiana. Would you please take yourself off mute and share a few words? Good afternoon. Um, as spoken, I'm Tatiana Sutton and I attend Hampton University. This scholarship, I want to first say thank you very much to the IDTTA Association because a lot of scholarships and grants are only given to students who struggle financially on paper. And even though your parents can afford it on paper, it doesn't necessarily mean that they have that burden and they can take on that burden. So this scholarship was something that I was able to showcase my talents when it came to writing and knowledge of tolls and tunnels and then earn something that could take the burden off my family, whereas in other cases, I don't necessarily qualify on paper for that assistance. So I was very appreciative to find something like that that would work for someone in my situation. As this money has helped with books, it's gonna help with senior funds because of course senior year is the most expensive year. And graduating, I'm moving on to Microsoft. And this is really gonna take on where I can now focus on moving to Texas from Maryland um, to focus on that without having to worry about where's the money gonna come from. So I'm truly thankful. And I just want to say by earning the scholarship, I see how it, important it is to have scholarships for those people who don't have the, who have the financial needs on paper, but don't necessarily have it in reality because their parents may make a little bit over the threshold. So I want to keep on giving back and that nature to students who necessarily don't have it when it comes to government assistance, but they think they do. Cause that happens to a lot of us, especially people of color. They think if you make enough, you know, you're good, but it's not the case. So finding an association that cares about their students in that way was very meaningful to me. And I plan to keep on that tradition, um, whether it's just people I know locally, just giving them some type of alleviation. Um, I'm very thankful for that. All right, thank you very much, Tatiana. And thank you for sharing your perspectives. We appreciate it. And then lastly, Katante, can you share a few words and take yourself off mute? All right, hello everyone, I'm Katante Yoma a third year computer science student at the University of the District of Columbia. And I'm pursuing, my career goal is to become a software engineer. Um, and I chose, I switched to computer science from biomedical engineering because I believe in my opinion, I can give back to my community through computer science since technology is uh, emerging and highly emerging this time. And I'm so thankful for IBTTA for, uh, 
giving me this scholarship because since I'm so supporting student, it could help me uh, to focus more on my studies and um, fulfill my career goal, which is becoming software engineering. And I'm so thankful for everyone. And thank you. All right. Thank you very much, Dupante. Uh, nothing like a self-made person. All right. So you keep up the hard work. We appreciate it. Uh, and I'm proud to see uh, that you guys are all pursuing uh, an incredible field. In case you did not know it, uh, tech, uh, tolling is a technology-driven industry. So uh, uh, Tatiana, although you're going to Microsoft, I'm sure our paths with tolling cross at some point. And uh, despite what others on this forum may say, California is still a better choice than Texas. But uh, we wish you the, the best success. Uh, and I, uh, on behalf of myself, uh, the task force and IPTA, we look forward to your inevitable success and the rewarding future that all three of you have in front of you. So thank you uh, very much. And again, we are honored to recognize you. And thank you, Mark, for allowing us this time uh, in this ceremony. And I will return it back to you, Mr. President. Thank you so much, Samuel. And my congratulations to Mubarak, Tatiana, and Gatante. You know, I'm, I must tell you, if there's any doubt that the future is bright, they weren't listening to this last 15 minutes. Uh, we, we're so proud to be part, a little bit a part of your success, and we're excited to see what you will do from here. The one thing we do pretty well at IBTTA is keep in contact with you. So we're going to be here for your success if you need any of us. And conversely, we'd just like to see how things go for you because we know that you're, you're off to greatness. So we just want to continue to be a small part of that and live that out with you. So we look forward to partnering with you, with you and being part of your success. Uh, it, it's also, uh, Samuel, what, what you've done here with the leadership group, it, it, it's amazing to see how many folks you have engaged in the task force and its early accomplishments. And you know you have my commitment. And with you continuing to work alongside me, I promise you we're not going to lose any momentum from that group. You have my word. And Thank it, you, Mr. President. And you keep me on task for that, please. I, I ask you to.